All right, let's do this. Go, 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 go. Mine, mine. Wrong direction, wrong way, wrong way. Oh no. It's so soft. <laughs> I love small. Allez, allez, allez. Who was the searching, huh? Who was the searching? Wait, where the fuck did that building have a Russian flag on it? Yesterday I was invited to play Battle 3 Reality Mode on a closed session just a few days before the mode goes live and everyone can play it for free. This is a very first impression video that does not represent my full and educated opinion on the mode, simply because we were able to play only for a few hours and that was with DDoS attacks happening every 30 to 40 minutes. I think we managed to complete 2 or 3 matches out of the 6 or 7 that we got to actually start. I think that it's also quite important to mention that this mod has been in development for more than 5 years by a very small group of people without being funded by a studio or a publisher. All the funding for this project came directly through donations. With that being said, and after talking with the one of the co-founders in the Discord yesterday while we are trying to play, he, he pretty much was talking to us how things will work, what to expect and things like that every time the servers went down and we all went back to the Discord voice chat, I could hear in his voice how heartbroken he was and how much he actually cares about this project. So my expectations and understanding of any issues or any bugs are completely different compared to the expectations I have when I'm talking about 2042, the expectations I have pretty much for any professional studio or even indie small studios that charge 10 or 20 years for their games simply because this mod is free for everyone. They will not ask for your money, they did not ask for your money all these years that they developed it and now they give the chance to anyone who is interested to have fun with what they have created. So let's talk about my experience. What I noticed as soon as I spawn is how the game offers an amazing level of immersion, much higher than Battle 3 ever did, much higher than I've experienced in any other FPS game. There are plenty of weather options like you can see right now on your screens. I know I didn't phrase that right, but I cannot think of another way to, to phrase it. All of them look nice and offer a really unique feeling to the game. So even the same map can feel completely different depending on the weather setting. The rework of the UI as well as the almost complete removal of it while you're alive also helped with achieving a unique level of immersion which I really like. The very next thing I noticed is how big the map is. The map is literally huge and not in a good way and not to the one that I'm just playing right now in the background but pretty much every map. I think the parts of the map where the actual gunfights are taking place, where the points that you have to capture are located, I think those parts of the map are really really good because you need to have a big area to have realistic fights with 50 versus 50. However, the initial spawn point is very far away from the capture points, meaning that at the start of the rounds, you have to run for two to three minutes before anything actually happens. The developers have added a lot of new features to the game. One of them are the FOBs. I don't know what FOB stands for, that's what everybody called them, so that's what I call them, but pretty much FOBs are small camps or small bases, if you like, that the squad leader can create with the help of four of his squad mates. And once you create an FOB, you can use that to spawn there. And it's not only squad wise, it's team wise. So pretty much any squad in a match creates an FOB and you're good to go, you can spawn on it. The respawn timer is also quite long, so in case you die and your team has no FOBs, you're pretty much screwed. This is something that I don't really like, as I already said, however, I think that that punishing aspect of dying actually helps with teamwork and make the game feel more realistic in a sense, in a way that you and your team get punished for mistakes, for stupid mistakes actually. It also makes the individual think twice before they decide to go and do something stupid, before they decide to go and push a building all by themselves without any backup, without any actual plan. There is a brand new UI menu, there are no classes but kits and each kit has its own unique role. The weapon customization is very limited, and there are a bunch of new features like bleeding and, and bandages. If you get shot, you will start to bleed. You can use a bandage to stop the bleed, otherwise you will die. However, the bandage does not heal you. You need to find a medic for that, and medics now can only heal one person at a time. 
it's a very punishing mode. Right. If you play curlers and if you get sore all the time, your your screen will just be gray and red and shaking, so it won't be fun. If you don't have any medics in your squad in order to heal you, or if you're away from your medics and they cannot get to you, again, you will suffer. The gunplay is completely different compared to Battlefield 3. It's much slower, it takes much longer to aim down the sights, and the recoil is increased by a lot. However, there are still times that going full auto will be the way to go if you decide to push a building or, or, or if you get rust or whatever, right? What I like the most is the teamwork of this game encourages players to have. You can open your map and add markers for where the enemies are or for where you want your squad to push. The voice chat system is very cool. The squad voice chat has no range limitations. You can be on the other side of the map and you can hear your squad mates talking when they are at the exact opposite side of the map and they can hear you. The team voice side is proximity based, meaning your teammates can only hear you if they are close to you and you can only hear them if you're close to them. If you have a cool squad like this one I had in this clip you're watching, you can have lots of fun. Sorry boys, I'm very lost here. First time playing this. It's okay. Where, where are you from, fam? Greece. Greece. Ancient Greece. Did you, did you know Socrates? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> of course, they were best buds. <laughs> yeah. It was my uncle. They <laughs> ate Greek yogurt and hummus together. It was the best of times. <laughs> the mod offers some very, very funny moments, in my opinion. Me and my squad were trying to hold this building while we're getting shot from pretty much all sides. We managed to hold it for a while, but then they took down the entire building. You can also attempt huge flanks with your squad, you can work like a team, and because of the lack of minimap or a death cam, or pretty much any way to see where the guy who killed you is, flanking the enemy team can be a very successful method. You can also have moments like this. I don't know how high on top of Or like this one. Dude. Go join fight. Are you a medic? No. I would have given him a patch if I if I could. <laughs> no, no oh shit, run. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it, man. Keep in mind that most people in the clips you're watching in the background, including myself, play this for the very first time in those two, three matches that we completed. So most of us are still trying to figure shit out. I didn't have a sight on my M4 for the entire first match. I was trying to shoot people at 100 meters without a scope, and then I saw two guys right next to me running ACOGs on their M4, and I was like, what the fuck, how can I get one of those? So then, next time I spawn, I played around my kit, I figured out how to customize your weapons, you just click on the iron sight, where the iron sight is in the kit menu, okay. and you decide what scope you want to play with. So my very first opinion, my very first impressions about reality mode is that you can have a lot of fun if you play this with your friends or even with the randoms as long as they use the mics and as long as they're decent human beings. Now, is the gameplay going to be S tier? Of course not. Is it going to be as competitive and as fast paced as Call of Duty or even Battlefield? Obviously, it's not meant to be that way. These type of games offer a different experience, have a different audience than the average Battlefield or Call of Duty fan. I already see content creators talking shit about how slow the actual gameplay of the mod is. Well, no shit, Sherlock. That's how they developed it to be. Like, what are you talking about? You have to be a, a stupid individual to compare the gameplay with Battlefield 3 or with Battlefield 4 or 2 or with AAA titles. It's not meant to be fast-paced, it's not meant to be like Battle 3, it's supposed to be something different. This Sunday on the 17th of July, the mod will go live and everyone will be able to play it for free. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I expect the lands to be pretty messy, for two main reasons. First of all, I don't know if they're gonna be able to figure out the DDoS issues that we had um, yesterday. 
Tonight we have another uh, playtest session. I'm hoping that that will work better. I'm hoping that they were able to protect the servers with from DDoS attacks. And the second reason that I expect the lands to be messy is because I think the mod got so fam famous and so much popularity over the last couple of days with pretty much every content creator that covers these type of games covering it with huge gaming media outlets covering it I'm expecting thousands of people trying to play at the same time and I don't think that Everybody's they dead, have right? the server capacity to support that I want to thank the team of the mod giving me access earlier and for putting so much effort and passion into creating this mod in the description you can find links to the site the discord the twitter and to an installation guide for reality mod thank you very much for watching the video have a wonderful day bye bye